Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this with like the midnight raid. You can thank me later. Using the midnight raid as the third thing for this warlord's horde. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Auction Riven. Going to be our next auction deck. This one is going to be one where we're going to be, again, targeting our allies quite a bit, which is good for auction. And Riven works out with that because Riven has uh, some different Reforge cards. And, you know, of course, the Blade of the Exile that Riven will be making and everything. And all of those will be different ways to target. So we'll just be able to have additional target cards with those two. So they work well together. The other thing is we're going to be playing this brand new card. The other reason why I want to play this deck is try out Ruined Reckoner, a new 4 mana, 4-3, four, whenever I'm summoned to create a Midnight Raid in hand. And that allows an ally to just get a free attack. That looks like a cool card and stuff. And so the person that made this deck wanted to play Ruined Reckoners and like, all right, look at this card. How are we going to, where are we going to put this? I thought Auction Sivir could be a nice combination to put that. So maybe we like support something with, an, with a Kato or something like that. Have like a, a, you know, make a, or use Blade of the Exile, make a big attacker, be able to attack with it, play Ruin, Ruined Reckoner, attack again, and uh, go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Auction Riven, we'll go play our five games in Rent. Zillion Echo. All right, we got our Sentinels of Light Riven. Ooh, Ruined Reckoner, okay. Zillion Echo, let's get rid of the Rock Hopper. Want to find something to protect Auction, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe this Ruined Reckoner, let Auction attack again, that could be cool. Maybe we reforge it up a little bit. Oh, I hope that was more to Happy with that trade? I shall take the blade fragment. We need to have Riven in order to get the blade of the exile. Ooh, good start for them. Two hexite crystals with a deck that will predict as much as they do. Good start. I know Hexite Crystal so far, but you gotta imagine like they have so they have four time bombs and two Hexite Crystals. I feel like they're just going to be playing... Okay, they, so they... No, that was the card they drew. Yep. That's exactly what I thought was going to be happening. A single empire ruled by the true king! Even trying to theorycraft a Braum Kench deck? Yes. Yeah, we've played Braum Kench before. It's been a while. But if you just go to go to my decks page there on Mobilitics with all of my decks, you can search by champions. You can you can um you can filter it by Braum and Tom Kench. 
and then yeah, so you can. Um, actually, I, I called it that Brom Kench, and so that that video is probably on YouTube if you just search Brom Kench Hawktie. So I'm pretty sure that's what I titled that deck. All right, Riven. Yeah, this is what this is what Zillion is great against. But yeah, this great at doing killing small things. Let's get another Warlord's Palace started. Wow. Impressive. Hey, I'm Thor. Absolutely enjoying the new lab. Yes. New lab is so much fun. Okay, Ruthless Predator is something that can help me kill the Zillion. Out really, really well because now they make another Kyrian Sump Worker. Alright, they got me. Okay. Impressive. Impressive Zillion Hand. Alright, Auction Siver. So we'll kind of have a, a mirror match where they get Sivir. And I have Riven. We can just never have any spells to target our stuff. We're going to need to get ahead for this matchup. But they have, they have like, Lifesteal Barrier. That will be tough to raise. So I'm thinking I uh, play Vagabond this round, and then like Hopper plus Auction the following round. Because be Merciless Hunter, don't want to just like throw out Auction here, the Merciless Hunter. Gotta find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Uh, let's go. Oh, let's Would you look at this place? It's not a wonderful absolver, but it's still two mana kill their four one fearsome. I mean, it's, it's not ideal, but it's worth it. So we can level up Riven right here. Yeah, they're just gonna—they're just sitting on barrier. I can't—I can't possibly beat a barrier. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Yeah, so we can get the barrier out of their hand. We can also just simply pass here. And we just got to play two champions and get stuff on board, and they don't. Doesn't mean that I necessarily have good blocks. But at least kind of help me set up, I guess. You'll thank me later. What is it for you? Cool, I bet. Like it? Talk is worthless. We are what we do. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, but... Um... 
I would like Siphoning Strike. The auction is going to be another... It's going to be like the Grappling Hook card. Which isn't necessarily that bad. You know, we can only use the Rock Hopper, but... It's, you know, like a three mana fight spell. If I take the auction, I think I'm going to do that. Because I got three mana. Obviously, just taking down the, the spell shield doesn't really matter. But if they play like a Zed, maybe we shoot that, or they have auction for their other champion. Sorry, if they play an auction. Brenda, just say, oh, please don't give me auction. Business as usual. Hmm. Bill Shield, not bad. Bill Shield's not bad. I just have no idea how we ever beat Sever with the barrier lifesteal. Like we just don't, just don't have a chance. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's see how we can do against those real Teemo. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I like the Ruin Runners with the Spell Shield against a deck that's just all spells. But do we keep two of them? That seems kind of difficult to keep two of them in the opener. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a good point there, Storm Event. That Vagabond looked a lot worse than Merciless Hunter. I don't my opponent's Merciless Hunter was good from bad. much better. Like if we had, if we had Merciless Hunter, like we're we're playing three Merciless Hunters, but if we had Merciless Hunter instead of Vagabond, maybe that could have been how we could take down Sivir with this because you can get the vulnerable through the spell shield. But then again, they just always had barrier, so that. Was, doesn't mean that that would necessarily work. I don't think our deck can really deal with the barrier. We need like quicksand. We laugh at them. But then again, there's spell shield also, so we can't. Yeah, this is. Oh. 
Alright, so we got a big auction hit. We can be patient. I could try to force something there into their deck that's filled with spells and stuff. I definitely assume they can kill the auction fairly easily. Would rather just be patient. Ooh, you got your prismatic chest upgraded. Nice to a champion, so you get Diana, Vladimir, or Tarek. Okay. Interesting choices there. Diana, Vladimir, or Tarek. Okay, yeah, you already have Leona. So yeah, maybe Diana then to go along with Leona. I like it. The Absolver. What was this? Is that That's going to be great with this uh, Ruin Runner later. So basically, like, if I did that, I wouldn't have been able to challenge. Like, I couldn't have used the Ruthless Predator with that at all. Alright, so this takes uh, 8 mana, or so, sorry, 4 mana, and then another 4 mana there. They're going to be frostbiting this. Now, what's the plan for the Ruin Runner? If it's a fight they want. Excuse you. Stay back. It all please. Right, they got lots and lots of frostbite and that kind of stuff over there. Let's put them down to 5. Try to keep this auction alive. Yeah, I just think Diana. I think Diana's a good choice. Alright, let's get another free attack. I'm doing this first so they don't get to Brittle Steel. And plus, you know, obviously I want the Overwhelm. But don't want them to be able to just Brittle Steel. So we need that 4 health. Villains beware. My light forever, if they are not able to do anything, this puts them down to 1. So I just gotta figure out how to do one more point of damage. This matchup was a good Ruined Reckoner matchup, though, with them being a spell-heavy deck. What are my options? I think it's probably Shield of Sentinels. All right, 
right, shield of the sentinels. Small spell shield. Alright, trying to kill this Ezreal, so it doesn't kill me. Man, that's a lot of ne damage that would have been to my Nexus. It's still six damage to me, though, I guess. But yeah, that's a lot of damage. That I didn't take. And now we got this. Alright, so we're still able to kill Ezreal. But of course, they're drawing three cards. Love the free attack. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Hoping they don't have enough more burn left. Oh no, that's the card. That could give them enough burn. To kill me. Maybe I should have just opened attacked. I should have just opened attacked, because then. I should just open an attack, because then I could still play Ruin Runner plus Reckoner afterwards. Yep, that was a mistake by me. I should have just open attacked. We gotta hope they don't have it. You're between me and glory. Looks like they have it. What? What? They gave me the win! I'm at three life! They just wanted to give me the win. What is life? Ezreal will try to get their revenge, question mark? But Ezreal could have had that last one if they wanted. Don't like the one health of the Rock Hoppa. Rune Weaver also just has one health though. At least they won't have as much predict as the Zillion deck as far as finding um, finding that Hexite Crystal goes. They'll still have some. Most likely just Time Trick. Me and I, the dragons, are going to be a beating. Don't blink or you miss me. One shot, all skill. Gotcha. Okay, so are <clears throat> basically planning on just like suiting up this Rune Runner a whole bunch, I guess. I don't need rules to know good from that. So Warlord's Palace is at four. Anxious. 
Oh, I meant to do quick attack on Rune Runner. Alright, so I was gonna do overwhelm over here, quick attack on my Rune Runner. Alright, it's fine. So unfortunately they made me waste that Absolver, I didn't want to use that, obviously. They made me waste that. Uh, kinda need to level up the option and get the Warlord Sword going. I take this Ruined Reckoner try to get free attack with the Ruin Runner. Oh, wow. Will of Ionia over there. What is gain when you return malevolence? Walking is strange. One mana short. Brave and dark. What are you at? Four to six? Fate was One mana short from uh, like if I didn't do this, I could play the rec you know reckoner and then a double absolver. They get to heal their Nexus a bunch. That's not so bad. They've only played one spell right now. I'm going to just pass the... You know, like, we only waste one mana. They don't get Draglings. So yeah, they want to play a spell anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with like the midnight raid. You can thank me later. Using the midnight raid as the third thing for this warlord's horde. This is justice. I guess that didn't work out nearly as well as I thought it could. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't get to actually uh, do anything like this yet. I think just plus two plus two spell shield. It's, obviously, it's that or the draw two. Put a lot of pressure on them. They have to be able to bust up Spell Shield and then also have Calm or Will of Ionia, but you feel like but it feels like if they would have had one of those things, they would have just done that last round. Or like you know, like during my, that first attack. If they had some answer to this. Alright. Three attacks for the win. Two and two. Yes. 
such one gang plank. They're gonna have a lot of let's see here, this, this. I can't keep Roadrunner. Alright, new hand. They're gonna have a lot of nab and stuff also while being aggressive, bunch of plunder. We'll definitely trade Ruin Runner for Crackshot Corsair if we had the opportunity to. It looks like we do not. I could see just saving the spell mana there and then having Ruthless Predator to go along with Riven. Alright, perfect start for the opponent. This is perfect round one, round two. Overwhelm. And plus two, plus zero. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played this Burn Weaver. If I kill you, I don't fart you, stupid. Jordan. Came a long way from Bolt. Got you in my sights. There is assistance! Came a long way from Bolt. So if we play the Ruin Reckoner next round and get the Midnight Raid, get the free attack, that doesn't give you the attack token, I don't believe. So I do not believe that we will reforge from that. As always, could be wrong, but I don't believe that is how that will work. So I, I'm, I was thinking about doing like Blade Fragment plus Grappling Hook to kill the hired gun so that if they want to challenge, they have to challenge with the Black Market Merchant. I don't think that's worth it. And I could just, again, basically play Preservarium and save spell mana, or get a 4-3 in play, and I'm gonna get the 4-3 in play. We're gonna have to raise. Nice hand for them. Done a very good job of unloading their hand. For obvious reasons, Sejuani would be a big problem. Alright, so Gangplank. Not quite as big of a problem. So I think I'm going to get rid of the plus two, plus zero. I want to be able to get Kato Overwhelm. We shall shoot King Plank. I had one more man and I could do both this blade fragments and this ruthless predator. Safety will cost. You can only do one though. So this is okay, so this is twelve, so we can have seventeen overwhelm. It's not gonna be lethal. Oh, 
set you got there. What's the rush, huh? All right, their champions are three out of five. <gasps> Ever consider a henching career? So they're down to four. Feel good about this uh, Rune Runner killing them next round if we stay alive. We're at seven now, and now those things are at four out of five. Please, no Sejuani still. Once again, the card that's the nightmare. I guess Gangplank's a nightmare now, too, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I guess Gangplank has the game. Well, Riven's my biggest blocker. Has the most health. Their bones are splinter. But I think that's still game, isn't it? Yep. That's too bad, because that's three right there, puts me down to three, and then takes Riven takes two, and then four overwhelm. All right, so two and three. All right, so we ended up two and three. Our deck definitely just felt a little off. It just wasn't quite powerful enough. Our, our Noxus cards didn't feel like they were really adding on enough. Don't know exactly what to, again, kind of like the other one, like the, the last deck. I don't know exactly how you make it better, but it was just a little off. Yeah, we didn't get to have like our level champions too much, you know, with the Reckoner and stuff, especially Riven. Maybe more Quicksands. Maybe that's just like the answer to all this stuff is more quicksands, maybe less rock hopper. You know, having rock hopper and rune weaver together. I was thinking that like the the roiling sands would be nice, but don't perform that well. Maybe just quicksand is just kind of like the card these days, right? Like just disabling keywords and everything. Like the one we did get to quicksand in Ezreal once, that was awesome. Goomba says I have a version of auction ribbon that is more consistent. Do you have Ruined Reckoners in yours? Because that, that was the one thing. It's like, we, you know, like this was a Ruined Reckoner, you know, like how to build a Ruined Reckoner deck, how to play three Ruined Reckoners. That's probably the one thing I would change to see. So it's already, so it's only tw 24 units right now. Maybe we want more Quicksands. Oh, I think I talked about in this version earlier how the Vag... I guess we don't have Merciless Hunter, do we? I was thinking, I was thinking that we were playing Merciless, but yeah, I guess we weren't playing Merciless Hunter. Maybe just play Merciless Hunter instead of Rock Hopper. So you can just save spell mana on round two. I guess that would just be an, an upgrade, just playing Merciless Hunter instead of Rock Hopper. That's probably a good place to start. Yeah, you play three Quicksand. Quicksand is amazing. Okay, and so yeah, you just play Merciless Hunters. You don't play the, the Vagabonds at all, even with Auction. And then you got Profiteers. I like Profiteer. So basically, the Profiteer is in the Ruined Reckoner slot, so you can, you can play Ruined Reckoner instead of Profiteer. This is... The version from uh, Saigumba. For those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you want to see, so it's, you know, Treasure Seeker, Merciless Hunter. Those are pretty broken cards. So yeah, playing those, that's probably a good idea. And the Quicksands, I like it. And so basically this this one has Profiteer, but you can just, we can just play Ruined Reckoner instead of Profiteer. Cool, a Thrumming Swarm at the top. I, I see Thrumming Swarm being a good top end card. Basically this instead of the Kato. But yeah, use Profiteer mostly to try to get Challenger and Spell Shield. Makes sense. All right, cool. So there's another. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, if you want, you know, a different, uh, different version that's maybe more consistent, go ahead and try this one out as well. All right, but that's going to be it here for Auction Riven. So also y'all on YouTube, feel free to uh, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the version we played or this one. Or if you got other ideas for that Ruined Reckoner, um, yeah, I'd love to hear about it. Like, what what else are you doing with Ruined Reckoner? Where's our deck? You know, if you, you've been doing anything else with this card, um, let us know over in the comments. All right, but that's going to be it here for Auction Riven. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.